get some. I'm just drive. Do you know that that woman? She gave birth to twins. Are you serious? Yes. You mean that fat lady? A boy and a girl. Serious? I'm telling you. God, okay. she gave me a twin. Serious? Right? Yes, I want her. Still in hospital. <sighs> why, why, why now? I will explain when I return. <sighs> okay, if you say so. Good night, dear. I miss you. I love you. Just take care of yourself. Bye. All right. <sighs> so, darling, I hope you're going to spend tonight with me. Spend the night? <laughs> you want my wife to kill me? Oh, spare me all that. Every time you keep irritating me with that wife of yours. <laughs> Jessica, I'm sorry. But the fact remains that I can't spend night here. She's all alone with my son. And I remember, she's pregnant. So what about me? Am I not all alone? You don't even consider my feelings these days. Jessica, hey, you know I don't like seeing you in this mood. You better cheer up. All right. Just cheer up. I'll make it up to you. Cheer up now. What is all this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to relax and watch me make you feel better. Mm -hmm. You know you've worked so much hard today. Yeah. Hello? What is it? I said where are you? I'm almost at home. Traffic would allow me. Every time, traffic, traffic, traffic. When are you going to stop all this? Hey, 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 hey. Don't just start. What is it? Because if you don't have anything reasonable to say, I will have to hang off the phone right now. Look, look, for your information. He won't go for me. Who was that? 
my wife. What is she saying? That uh, my son is supposedly ill and uh, we need to take him to the hospital. <laughs> That's a lie. Your son can be sick. I don't think so. I don't think so. Come on, darling. She's just trying to get you back home. But you won't go, right? I need you, please. I need you to stay with me. Do my help, please. Oh, I missed you now. Oh, you're a political trap. She's just trying to trap you. If anything happens to my son, I will never forgive you. Junior. Junior. Your son needs blood transfusion as quickly as possible, otherwise we'll be in crisis. Come with me, Mr. George. My son will not die. My son will not die in Jesus' name. Oh God, and if anything happens to him, George, if anything happens to my son, I will never forgive you. Calm down, madam. Calm down. We'll try as much as possible to make sure your son is okay. Alright? Don't work up to yourself. So let's go. <laughs> Doctor, the man is not compatible with the recipe. It's due to the resource factor. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Come with me.
call yourself a chief. No responsible man comes back home every day at this ungodly hour. Carol, don't insult me because I shan't take it lightly. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? If you know where you're coming back from, go back there now. <laughs> in my own house. I cannot stay in my own house. Woman, what is your problem? You. You are my problem. How do you mean? Chief, I think it's time we call a spade a spade. Okay? Choose. Is it me or her? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh. Choose who? You know who I am talking about. You know who? If you will not allow me to get into my house and rest, then I shall leave this house for you. Chief, you won't have any peace in this house until you leave that Uju alone. Now I can see that you are going mad tonight. I'm going to leave you until you come back to your senses. Right? Right? Open the gate. Where do you think you're going? Chief! Where do you think you're going? Chief! Run back here! Come down. Go, Chief! Chief! Oh! So! So because I hit the door on the head, eh? You want to run away! You want to run away! You will see! You will see! No problem! Go! Go! You come back and meet me here! Useless man! Shameless man! Shameless man, no problem! You can do this to me! Chief! Ibrahim! Ibrahim! Ma! Ibrahim, come! Ma! Lock that gate! Lock that gate for me! You will see! You will see! Go! No problem! You have come back and meet me here! So this is what you want to do to me! Go! Go! You will come back! Go! You will see! This is what you want to do to me, Lucy. This is what you want to do to me. This is what you want to do to me, Chief. It's everything. This is what you want to do to me. Okay. Okay, you will see. You will see what I want to do to you, Lucy. You will see. blood is not compatible with that of your son and for obvious reason of your condition we cannot take blood from you to transfuse into your son all the blood samples we have in a lab are not compatible with that of your son either we need to do something to get blood to transfuse into your son oh my god what am I going to do at this time of the night don't you have friends Relations? Neighbors? Anybody? Anybody? A shot in the dark is, is much more better than nothing. Hey! Let me see what I can do. I don't know. Let me call my friends. Nothing happened to my son. 
If anything happens to my son, George, I will never forgive me. Keep quiet. I stop shouting at me. I said it's ringing. But it's not ringing. Really stop. What's the problem? Look, please. Are you sure of what you're saying? Oh, yes. Because we get cases that we're not sure of. We don't treat. Unless we revert to police. Save me, Martin. I will provide whatever you require. Please save him. Alright. I'll save him. At least you saw me examining him at the emergency unit. Yes. There are no broken bones, uh, no fractures, just minor abrasions here and there. So he will be alright. You have to stay. You're not going anywhere. No. I'll treat you. Thank you, Mr. Excuse me. Have you found somebody to donate blood to your son? I have tried my friend's life several times and he's not keeping his course. Doctor, you have to do something. You have to do something, though. I don't want my son to die. Calm down, George. Calm down. Calm down. Your son won't die. Have faith. God will keep him alive until we get somebody to donate his blood. Doctor. Yes. I am group O positive. I can donate to any group. You are? Yes. You are willing to donate? Yes. Right away? Right away. Then come, come with me. Come, come, come with me. Come with me. Come with me.
is your boy? Boy Chief. He's doing well now. Good. He's doing well. Chief, uh, thank you very much for the blood. Oh, don't mention it. Thank God. And uh, how is he? Oh, he's fine, thank God. No serious injuries, no fractures, just uh, minor uh, <laughs> injuries. We thank God. Thank God. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Chief, I'm all right now. I'm, I'm, I'm much better. Uh, only that I have a slight headache. Sorry. Uh, sorry, yeah? <coughs> sorry. Sorry. Please, t tell us what happened. Uh, I mean, what was after you? I'm robbers. Hey. Robbers nearly killed me. It was when I was running for my life that I bumped into your car. Oh, is it? Please. Busy? I am very, very sorry, Chief. Well, we thank God. We thank God that uh, we only got away with the slight injuries. Yes, mm -hmm. because had it been you died, uh, this is not what we'll be saying. You know, in all things, we give thanks. Let us continue to thank God the Almighty. Oh, we, we thank God. God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. we, we thank God. No, we, we thank God. We only got, we got, got away with uh, only minor injuries. Yes. Mm. Emmanuel, thank God that you're alive. Mm. Thank God that you're alive today. Yes. If you had died, you wouldn't have the second chance to make amends, to atone for your sins. Right now, you would have been in hellfire just the way the devil and his agents planned it. But God, through Jesus Christ, loves you so much that he saved your life tonight. Glory to God. Doctor, what are you talking about? Oh, if you all know what God had planned for you, if you know the plan of God for three of you, you will just open your heart and drink his water. Uh, how do you mean, Doctor? The water you all are drinking right now cannot quench your thirst. But his water that I am talking about, when you drink it, you will never thirst again. Uh, doctor, uh, Doctor, where is this water? I would like to drink it. Oh, the living water I'm talking about cannot flow into your veins and quench your thirst. Except you deliberately change your attitude. Mend your ways from negative to positive. You know, bad attitude is like flat tire. If you don't change it, you don't go anywhere. Uh, doctor, I, I don't understand you. I, why are you, why, why are all these parables? Emmanuel. Why did you lie to them? Why didn't you tell them the truth? What happened before you bumped into his car? Because Chief didn't hit you. You blundered into his car. What happened? All right. Who is Sophia? Sophia is my wife. And Gloria? Uh, Gloria. Gloria is a friend. But. Doctor, how did you know all about this? Never mind, never mind. Um, Emmanuel, tell us what happened on the 18th of April last year. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was the day my boss uh, fired me from, from the office. No, 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 no. Beyond that, what else happened? Finished, Sophia. Sophia, I am finished. I know you're not finished. What happened? Read this. This is a character. What did you do wrong now? Eh? Tell me now, what did you do wrong? I don't know. I just don't know. This is how it is this morning. Now tell me, where will I start from? Hey! Feeding the children's school fees. Hey! Where will I get money to settle all this? Hey! Tell me. 
Why, 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 why now? Why, why? Eh, good. You know I don't have any good job. Huh? Hey, 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 hey. Um, so, uh, my dear, how are we going to take care of this house? With that money? I just don't know. I just don't know. From east, from west, from north, from south, to look at it. Amen. Oh my God. Amen. At least use it to buy materials. Yes. yes. Sell them you know, uh -huh. and sell them ready-made. At mm -hmm. least we use that one to manage. So you find another job. You are right. Then um, what else again would you do with the rest of the money? I think um, I, I can buy Okerika. That is true. I that cut money. and so. Ah, yes. At least um, I, I heard there's money in it too. Yes, 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 yes. You are right. Oh my God. Thank God. I want you to be happy all the time. I will. I will. Oh my my husband. God, yes. Take this one. Uh, what is it for? That's your pocket money. For my own pocket money? Yes. <laughs> You know you're not sweet. You're my husband now. Hey. My life. I want oh. you to be happy all the time. Hey, you know what I want you to do? Tell me something. I want you to go to the bar and get and, and drink as you like. As much as you like. Do you know you are the greatest thing that ever happened in my life? Mm. You are a God sent wife. Mm. You are just like a staff sent from heaven and given to me. Mm. Oh my God. I love you so much. My head is smelly. My head is smelly. So, my husband. Yes. Make your favorite dish. You. Pounded yam and hey. salad. You will make me go stretching up. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I catch up. I catch up. Go, 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 go. Hey. go. But don't stay too long. No, I will not. Don't stay too long. Am I mad? Hmm. By the time you come back, yes. I am going to take that kiss, the real kiss. I will now form another one, fabricate another one that will give you, that will make you melt. <laughs> My sweetie. Don't stay long. No, I will not. You know that is where the problem comes As from. long as you are in the kitchen now cooking, eh? the smell of that thing will attract me anywhere I am. And carry you back. Baby. <laughs> and you trust me now. By the time I hold that, that spoon. I will meet you. Go stay long for me. No, I will not. Sweetie, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> that was what happened that very day. No, that was not all. That was not all. You made that bar your second home ever since. Not really. I only go there to drink and have some peace of mind. And did you find peace? Huh? Did you find peace? As a matter of fact, peace has eluded your family ever since. Till now. Tell me what happened. Can I find peace oh, I told you better than that. No. He better than no. that. Can I find peace in the baby? Oh, let's go. He plays better. Don't play the people. No. Madame Club. He plays better. He plays better. In the 
of a fried fried chicken. <laughs> then if I close one of my eyes, what I see is a fried box. That's to say you are equal to beauty. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me have the bill of all this drink. Including those babies there. Hi. Thank you, yeah, baby. I'm feeling you. Thank you. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> She says she's feeling me. All right, so how much is there? Yeah, three thousand five hundred naira. That is a fee for people who says no. Mm. Do you know what it's called? No, no. Oh God, yes. Original customer. After the man who is above there, who answers the man, the order a man. In the whole wide world is me. Mm. Nobody. Mm. How much are you saying? Three thousand five hundred. Three thousand five hundred. Okay. This is four tower. Four tower. Okay. Yeah. You get your change. No, no, no. I'm okay. I'm okay with the change. Okay. Mm. Let me give you one. But How do you know about that? I was I was about to position myself well and ask for that. I know how to take your I take your Do you know that the liquid is already here now? I was about to tell you when I when I finished checking my position. It is sanctuary. In the sanctuary. In the sanctuary. Oh my God! In the sanctuary. In the sanctuary. I'm enjoying your combustion of the liquor, but please don't chew the bottle. Okay? Leave the bottle for my baby glow. Yes. Baby glow. Thank you. I will see you next time. Where? Okay, you must take time. Where is the road to my house? This. This, 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 Okay. Go, 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 baby. Go, 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 baby. Okay, yeah. my good night. Yeah, say good night, baby. I'm a girl. Okay. I'm a girl. Wow. Look, what you want to do. You know what I want to do. Tell me where to find. Yeah. You are not going anywhere. Ah. You are not going anywhere today. You are not stepping out today. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Sophia. Enough, enough is enough. <gasps> enough is enough. What is it? What is it? You are not going to Gloria's Bar today. I will told you that I'm going to Gloria's Bar. And where else would you be going to? If not Gloria's Bar. Since you started going to Bear Palo, you no longer spend time with us again. Ah, what is it? What is it now? You go there in the morning, you go there in the afternoon, you go there in the evening, you go there at night. You start coming home at 1 a.m. drunk and smelly. Uh, because I, I lost my job, is that why you are telling me all this, Sophia? Eh, I know you are going to say that now. I know you will say that. Because you lost your job. See you, you want to twist everything, put everything on my head. Why must you go to Gloria's bar? Is that the only bar in, in, in this area? Stop going there, stop going there. And um, what are you trying to say? Thank you. If you don't have any business with her, why are you still going there? Stop going there now! No, no, no. Sophia, let me understand you. What are you trying to say? You mean uh, I'm having an affair with that old haggard woman? <laughs> old haggard woman? Yes. You are calling her old haggard woman? Listen to yourself now. And I can try to say you're 
have it. This, you, oh, wait, wait, wait. Do you think that I am blind? Oh, because I sit in the house for money tonight. You think I do not see anything, Abby? You think I'm blind or I'm stupid? You are not going out with her. Look at you, you shameless man. Sophia, you don't understand anything. I don't want to understand. I cannot understand. I will never understand, though. Because you are a shameless man. You are a Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a shameless man. You are a You stop telling me all this rubbish. Ima. Yes. You slapped me. Yes. You have never slapped me before. And I will slap you again. You are a shameless man. Look, I will you slap you. And I will never slap. Plus, I will never slap. And I will slap again. Then I will slap you. Ima, I will slap you to the floor. Ten times. I am going to slap you today. Ten times. Sophia. Ten times. Sophia. Is that what you call peace? No, that's not peace. That's distraction. Your wife loves you so much that she wanted to save you from the clutches of that woman. But no, you resisted. Because you have made it a habit to be in that, to be with that woman until she caught you red-handed tonight. That very woman had destroyed many men. Some have even died. But Christ, Lord Jesus Christ loves you so much, and I saved you tonight. Otherwise, you would have been dead and in hell by now. So this is what actually happened. Yes. You were not running away from armed robbers, but your wife who caught you red-handed with another woman. There is a way that seems right to a man, but then that way leads to death, destruction, and damnation. You see, Christ loves you so much. You would have been dead by now and in hell. But Jesus loves you so much that he saved your life. Now, Emmanuel, do you believe that the same Jesus Christ can still save your marriage? Wait a minute. I think you are a medical doctor, right? Yes. Then, what are you doing to this man? I don't get you. You are adding salt to his injury. Instead of you to do your job as a medical doctor, you are here exposing a man's secret. Tell me, Doc, what do you benefit from all this prophecy? Are you a pastor or a prophet? Huh? Sovereign Lord does not do anything without revealing his plans to his children. Oh. I am a medical doctor, yes. I am also a servant of God, a child of God. That three of you are here tonight is not by chance. It was planned, designed, and executed by God so that you will be here to receive salvation. Believe me. All these things you said, it does concern me. Good. Three of you 
are having the same problem in your marriages. Infidelity. Infidelity has crept into your homes and is threatening to destroy that which you are trying to build. But then, God loves you and has decided to bring you all here tonight to receive salvation and I want you to accept Christ. See, Doctor, you don't tell me what I should or shouldn't do. Anyway, I can see you don't have any workers to do in your hospital anymore. That's why all this. Excuse me. Doctor. Good night. Uh, 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 please, doctor, don't be offended. I, I think that man, that man is mad. It's all right. Don't get worked up. He'll be back. You see, our focus in all this is to be close to God and live in possibilities to Him. That's all. Yes, no. Doctor, there's an emergency. What is it? They brought a woman in labor. Oh, okay, you go and take care of it. I'll soon join you. Um, Chief, I'll be right back. Let me attend to this emergency. Right. Where did you go? I... I went to... George. I am ashamed of you. What kind of man are you? What? You found out that I was asleep and you went back to her to continue from where you stopped. <coughs> you can't even take care of your son at the point of death. Or even consider my condition. All you care about is Jessica. What? Who is Jessica? <coughs> Do you think I don't know? Of course, I know <coughs> everything going on between you and Jessica. The hotels, the joints, and even where she lives. <laughs> what are you talking about? There is no Jessica in my life. Don't even deny it. Because you know what I am talking about. Lower your voice now. This is hospital. Remember. Okay. Let me ask. And I beg you. For the sake of God. Tell me the truth. <laughs> On Junior's birthday, where did you go? I went for a seminar and you know it. Liar! You know it! Liar! That's what you are! There was no seminar on Junior's birthday and you know it. I told you! After that day, I investigated. <laughs> and you know what? You chose your girlfriend's birthday instead what? of your son's birthday. What are you doing here? Yeah, I came to get some stuff. Um, you didn't travel for the seminar? Seminar? With who? My husband, of course. He said you guys 
have a seminar in Abuja. George, have a seminar in Abuja? There's nothing like that. As I, yesterday when I left the office, there was nothing like seminar. I'm sure if I had gone to Abuja, probably on a different purpose. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so how is the baby? Oh, I guess the baby's kicking. Well, yes. I know it's fine. You're fine, oh, thank you. you. How's the family? They're yeah, fine. Everybody's fine. All right, thank you. Take right, care. Okay, cool. Send me well to you, to George. I yeah? will. Bye. Today, your son is hospitalized and you still choose her instead of your son. George, what is wrong with you? In short, I have made up my mind this night and that is final. Immediately, Junior is well and he's discharged from this hospital. I will not go back with you into that house again. I'm going to leave you and your girlfriend, Jessica, so that you can have the whole world to yourselves. I can't Don't even you. give me that. Don't give me that. Just leave. Just leave, I'm going to shout! Accept Christ. She won't leave you. You see, all of you, if you accept Christ in your marriages, then you will experience the sweetest part of marital bliss in Christ. Do you really mean what you say? Oh, yes. You see, she doesn't trust you anymore. She doesn't. That's why she couldn't believe that you're still in hospital. Trust is the basic ingredient that binds marriage together. Any marriage without trust is as good as over. But you see, when you accept Christ in your marital life, He will restore trust, peace, and faithfulness if only you believe. I'm sorry, Doc, for my arrogance. Well, George, you don't have to worry about that. What you may have to worry about is the fact that your wife knows about you and Jesse. Look, you know about Jessica too? Yes. 
Now tell me, what happened on your son's birthday? Darling, you know this coming Friday is my birthday. Oh really? That's nice. I hope you are planning to celebrate it with your friends. No, I don't want to celebrate this birthday with any of my friends. Why? Is it because of money or work? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Not because of that. I want to celebrate this birthday with you. You alone. You know, I've been looking for an opportunity for us to spend like two days alone. Mm -hmm. You know, you could take me to the beach, a picnic, you know. I just want to celebrate this birthday with you alone. Hmm? Jessica, sometimes you amuse me. Have you forgotten that I have a family, a wife, and a son? How could I just go out for two days? Two days? What will I tell my wife? No, baby, it's not possible. It's not. It is. It is possible if you want to. How? I mean, you could tell her that you're going for a business trip for two days. <laughs> what kind of a business trip? I'm a banker. And you could tell her that um, you are going for a seminar or something, and that you're going to, you know, go on Friday and come back on Sunday. Yes, you got this. I wish I could, but I can't. But you can't. I, can't. I just want to spend this day with you, please. All right, all right. I'll see what I can do. I hope so. <laughs> but please don't disappoint me. I won't disappoint you, but I have to go now. It's getting it. Just like that. Come and give it to me. <laughs> All right, darling. Come here. You came back late again today. I thought we've agreed that you shouldn't be coming back home late again. Would you greet me first? Greet me now. You're welcome. <laughs> Sweetheart, you know how challenging it is in this Lagos. You know it. Yeah, but when you close from work, start coming back home immediately. That's where you beat the traffic. This is an office one. I will not When we close, I still have to do one or two things. Yeah, but you're not the only one in your unit. Now. And you should share the work amongst yourself. Hey. That, that way you'll be able to come back home and you know, sometimes I like, want to have you around me. Leave that one, leave that one. You don't know anything about office work. You don't know anything about office work at all. Okay. Uh -huh. That reminds me of we are traveling to Abuja on Friday to for a seminar to return on Sunday. Abuja? Yes. On Friday? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, you know that's only possible now. Huh? Why? It's going to affect Junior's birthday now. Junior's birthday is on Friday? No, it's on Saturday. Oh, I see. Well, but that'll be difficult because we are traveling on Friday. And that Saturday is the meeting. Okay. Then after the meeting, you take the next available flight and you come back so you can meet Junior's birthday. Alright. I will see what I can do. No, you have to see what you can do because he has just been singing all day today. Ah, my birthday, oh, my birthday, oh. daddy must buy me bicycle, daddy must do this, daddy must do that. And I, I just cannot... I said I will see what I can do. I'm sorry about it. Uh, the birthday. And uh, the basic now back to you. Just tell him that. Okay. I'm very hungry. And I have my phone now. I'll send him. I'll give it to 
I'll bring it now. Can't you see that I'm pregnant? And I have to take my time to go and bring the food. Mm. Oh, my baby is doing fine. Only that is, he or she is upset that you didn't come back early. <laughs> Did you come back on Saturday? Hmm, Jessica. Jessica did not even allow me to think of it. She convinced me and uh, I relaxed and came back on Sunday. You see, that is the beginning of your problem with your wife. She later investigated the matter from your friend, Tony, who told her that there was no seminar. That was exactly what my wife told me, that she investigated it. And it's only Tony that knows about it. Hey, Doc, how do you know this? Like I said earlier, I'm only a messenger. God has a way of doing his own things. He knew that three of you have marital problems. Your marriages are rocking badly. And he wanted to mend these marriages. That's why he made the plan as a master planner for you all to be here tonight to receive salvation and healing for your marriages. You see, I normally end my daily routine at 7 p.m. When it was 7 p.m., I was ready to go. And then I got the sign. I, I, I heard a voice. I saw the vision. You have to walk overnight. Don't go anywhere. I hear your voice, Lord. I hear your voice. Then I knew that something was about to happen. Mind you, I didn't know how or what was going to happen. But I obeyed the voice of God. With time, you all started coming in one after the other with your problems. Then I realized the vision that I had seen. Doctor, you claim to see vision and to know everything. Uh, what do you know about me? I don't claim to know anything. I'm only a messenger. What message do you have for me? Chief, you have a good heart. You have a heart of giving, but you do it wrongly. How do you mean? You see, the work of the Holy Spirit is like, it's like networking. God chooses whoever he wants to choose, irrespective of who that person is, how bad you think you are, how deep you have wallowed in sin and things like that. When God wants you, He gets you. That's why He planned it that you all will be here tonight. You remember what happened in March 2000? Yes, I do. And what are you doing with your life? You see, your wife is so bitter with you now. She has accumulated so much animosity in her heart against you that my brother, if you don't accept Christ now, by the time she's through with you, you will regret ever marrying her and even regret life itself. What for? Oh, I thought you said you remember what happened in March 2000. Oh. That. Sent for me, the mechanic. No, all our cars are in order. Maybe Carol is owing him and has come to collect his money. Okay, he may be right. But where is the fancy? We are still waiting. Dad, 
daddy. <coughs> Mommy, here is Ume. He's my fiance. He's the man I've chosen to marry. We love each other very much. <coughs> what? Are you insane or something? What is wrong with you, Carol? Among all the men in the whole world, you can't find a responsible man to marry. You present to us a male mechanic, our family mechanic, as your husband. You must be out of your senses. Mommy, I'm not out of my senses. Don't you even pity me? Look at me. I'm 35 years old. No man to marry me. And then, even if you're so desperate, not this thing. What about his educational background? I don't even think if he's well educated. It doesn't matter to me. Shut up and keep quiet, Carol. I am disappointed in you. That a man of my caliber who accepted a male mechanic as a first son in law? What will I tell my friends, governors, senators, and all of them that my son in law is a mechanic? Impossible. Disgusting. He doesn't even have a name. His name is Ume. Mr. Ume, or whatever you call yourself, I don't entertain strangers in my house. You are a complete stranger. Now, get out. The same way you came, that way out. Out! Daddy, this is... See, Daddy, it's not fair. There's no way you can marry my daughter. It's not fair. It's not I fair. warn you. Don't you ever in your life cross my house. Again. Mommy, in the it's way. not fair. It's not fair. We'll marry him. Ah! Unbelievable. It was the most horrible day of my life. I was so ashamed of myself. I was contemplating suicide. Because I thought I had lost her. I, I, I love her very much. So what happened next? That same day, she came to my, to my flat. What is this? You take it easy. See. Ah! Where, where, where did you get this? Take it easy. Ume, I stole it from my father. Ah, you have killed me. You have killed me. Ume, let us run away. We can use this money to travel out of the country. Let us get visas, travel out, and go and plan our lives. Let us run away. Let us travel out of the country, please. Please. We finally got our visas and we traveled to England to further our education. We were there five years. We heard that uh, Carol had lost her father. He died as a result of his money she stole? Yes. Oh my God. Chief, can you believe such sacrifice she made? For you to be with her all these years. And how do you reciprocate? By being unfaithful to her from then up till now that she caught you. She has determined to deal decisively with you. And what would that be? Uju has become a thorn in her flesh since you married her secretly. My wife knows that 
Oh, yes. Chief, why did you choose to treat her like that? After all, she went through all these years for your sake. Why? You decided to be unfaithful to her all through. She sacrificed a lot. She gave you children. Five solid boys and one beautiful girl. You see, sometimes the devil uses the mind and physical body of a man to achieve his evil desires and schemes. Tell me, does a bird get trapped if that trap doesn't have a bait? Of course not. A gentleman, excuse me. But he said he is a servant of God. Ha. This is unbelievable. I have never seen this kind of doctor in my life. What baffles me is that he's speaking the truth. We all are unfaithful to our wives. And he has proved it. Um, what I'm thinking now is uh, how to resolve this matter with my wife. And how do I convince her to accept me or make her believe that I am now a changed person? That is the point. My wife will never believe me at all. He will never, she will not even listen to me. Where do we start to accept Jesus to save our marriages? Because let me tell you, I know my wife and I know what she's capable of doing. Hmm. That is it. That is it. Woman. They can be patient at a time. But when they start, it's always deadly. I don't even know what I would tell my wife. Ha! It's hard to admit to. Ah. <laughs> it is very, very difficult, my brother. I mean, how can I just walk in, go and go to her and say, um, I, I've, been, I've been cheating on you. Ha! <laughs> no, no, it's not possible. It's just not that's possible. Very, very I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose her. <laughs> <face. laughs> she knows already. Yes, but I never admit. <laughs> she doesn't believe me. Yes, she knows already. Never. Hi. Oh, God. I think we should start thinking of how we can stop this infidelity on our wives. I mean, today and start up a new life with them tomorrow. That possibility uh, is what baffles me. How will it be possible at this time of time? Oh, gentlemen. Gentlemen, here are Bibles. One for each of you. Here you are, Chief. Thank you. George. Thank you, Doctor. Emmanuel. Thank you. The Word of God is an invisible connection between man and the divine. Exchange of an old life to the new one. Read it. You know, the only challenge will now be for you to find time to read it, but do. It doesn't matter where or how, just you can read from anywhere. Please, where do you worship? So that we can join you. <laughs> Chief, it doesn't matter where one worships, really. You see, the time is coming. Actually, the time is now. When mankind will worship God really the way God deserves. Like what? Living sacrifice. Living a sacrificial life to the Lord. You see, God is a spirit. So it doesn't matter your location or the denomination you belong to. The important thing that is critical in man and God relationship is your personal, personal relationship with your creator. That's what matters. 
Doctor, what do you mean by living a sacrificial life? When you deny yourself of all worldly cravings and desires that is always in you, taking up your cross by the leading of the Holy Spirit, following the Lord, that is sacrificial life. Doctor, please tell us, what do we do? The Word. The Word of God is in the Bible. Read it. Meditate on it. Binding yourselves and your families in that spirit of oneness with the help of the Holy Spirit. Oh, I remember what happened to me five years ago before I got this peace in my life. Mm. A remarkable night. Mm. Maybe we can say that again. You didn't enjoy it, baby. I did the first. Are you sure? Ah, I didn't mean to tell you that. <laughs> you didn't enjoy it me if I enjoyed it. Oh, sorry. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Why are you asking me when you like it? <laughs> okay, you say so. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, who is this? Oh my God. Who is this? I'm finished. Baby, who is this? Your husband. Are you setting me up or something? Come on, my buddy. Watch out. Oh, help your husband. Oh my God. I'm finished. I'm finished. I'm finished. What's going on? I'm confused. Was that your husband? In the name of God, I'm stranded here. What's the problem? I don't know. The car just stopped. This is my house. Once again, my name is Mercy. Doc, is a pity all these things happened to you this night. But what do you intend to do? It's over. It's, it's over between me and her. I, I'm not going to marry her again. She's your wife. And no matter what happened, it's for better for us. Yeah, be that as it may. What was behind her mind when she did it? I don't want to talk about this no more. You have to talk about it. You talk about it because you cost it. Me? Yes. I'm a woman and I'm in the right position to tell you what makes some certain women to be unfaithful to their husband. Okay. Go ahead. You are the head of the family, right? That's right. And you provide everything that she needs in her house. Everything. She lacks nothing. I'm also very good in bed. I can boast about that and she can even testify to it. Very good. But one thing is lacking. What else could that be? What else? Jesus. You need Jesus in your marriage and you don't leave your partner behind. Accept him today and he will save your marriage. I am a Christian. Wedded in church. I go to church every Sunday. So why do I need Christ all over again when I already have him? Well, every Christian 
need to take step in spirit by living a Christ life. And your life will be secured as a son of God. But the problem is not being led. Can you remember the very last time you opened your Bible to read? Well, I'm a, I'm a very busy man. I mean, a professional doctor for that matter. I, I hardly have time except on Sundays when I go to church. That's when I make out time for God. The beginning of every successful marriage is Christ. When you build your life in Him, you get deep-rooted in Him, become stronger in faith, then you will be enabled by the Spirit of God to recognize the voice of God. And there will be no chance for the devil to penetrate to ruin your marriage. And it is your duty as the head to introduce Christ in your family. And if at all the enemy wants to penetrate, God will reveal it to you. And both of you will jointly pray against it. I know you love your wife. Oh, oh, yes. Don't you? I, 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 I love my wife so much. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed and confused. Don't be confused. All you need now is to eat the main seed. Shh. Seed? What seed? Shall we go in, please? What about your husband? Well, he's late. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Really, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Shall we go in, please? All I need is me. All I need is joy. Tell me, tell me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you care for me? Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. Thanks. Are you sure you're okay? I just... Thank you. Uh, how about your children? Ah, oh, they are sleeping. Oh, I see. Now, about the seed. The seed is the word of God in the Bible. And this seed must be identified. I see. How? Yeah, they are identified through understanding when reading the Bible. You imply that I don't understand the Bible when I read it, huh? No, I don't mean that. What I mean is this. Any word of God that God enables you to understand by pressing it in your spirit is a seed. And no matter how little it is, you must keep it and allow it to control your actions. But your heart must be tilled before you can understand what God is telling you in the Bible. My heart has to be tilled. What do you mean by that? If your heart is not tilled when listening on hearing the word of God, it will not penetrate into your heart to germinate. Why? Because of the condition of your heart. The problem is not the availability of the seed, but the condition of your heart to receive the seed for growth. Different believers have different heart conditions that needs to be tilled. Well, I listen to the word of God every time I go to the church, and I, I believe that tells the heart. Hearing the word of God alone cannot tell the heart. The problem is not the availability of the seed, but the condition of the heart to receive a seed. So, how can we till the heart? Yeah. The heart is tilled by fasting and prayer constantly. A price to offer to the Lord a living sacrifice. Mbano. Mbano. Fasting and praying every day? Yes. Fasting and praying takes care of unbelief and makes the heart good and honest for the seed to grow. 
a lot of believers have been hearing the word, which can only take them that far, but has not gotten them to the point of bearing fruit. And that is frustrating. A lot have given up because their heart was not tilled by fasting and praying. Perhaps some seed can actually grow in the heart of a believer to a certain height. But a tree without fruit is only green, lively and attractive, but will not be fulfilling and will soon be rendered useless if it does not produce the expected purpose. I see. Now, how can we produce the fruit? Yeah. It is produced in us by the help of the Holy Spirit, which clearly shows that we are not only alive in Christ, but also fruitful. Fruitfulness is the end product of living a sacrificial life. And this is an open display of Christ's character in us. And this is a light that shines in us that draws us closer to our Mecca. Wait, 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 wait. All this sermon is for me to go back to my wife? Huh? Yeah. I know it's hard. But put her in your shoes. And remember, as they say, to err is human, and to forgive is divine. Excuse me. This is the Bible, the Word of God. 
Remember what I told you yesterday. If you listen to this word and obey it and put it in practice, you will be successful in life. Not only in your marriage, but in every area of your life. It is well with you. Jesus loves you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell me if I should have stayed. Tell me if I should have touched you. Tell me if I should have loved again. Love you more again. Love you more again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fasten upon your heart, I promise, give you everything you need. Just to let it be, I promise, never ever hurt you again. Baby, tell me if I should have stayed. Tell me if I should have stayed. Tell me if I should have loved you again. Gentlemen, I found peace in the sanctuary of the Lord ever since. And uh, you are still living with her to date? Oh yes! In love, in peace, in joy, and in comfort. Mm -hmm. How many years is that? Oh, five years. Wow. wow. Five solid years. Wow. The peace I found is beyond human understanding. Although I found it in a very hard way. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, let me ask you. Would you allow your marriages to deteriorate beyond what I went through before you rectify it? No. Then hold on to the word of God, the Bible. And let the Holy Spirit lead you for Christ to come in and take control. And rectify that which you have almost wrecked. And of course, you will be the best for it. Amen. 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 Um, but doctor... Where will I go from here? Where will I start from? Don't worry, Emmanuel. I will call your wife and invite her over and tell her the situation when she gets there in the morning. Don't worry. Just give me her number. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is that? This is Bible. I'm a changed person now. You must be joking. I'm not. I'm serious. Sweetheart, let's come together and shame the devil. Jesus loves us. He <laughs> One that shall never end. George. Yes. 
Who taught you about Jesus Christ? Or is this the new trick you want to use to cover up your new scheme? Tell yourself you're a joker. Because that plan will not work. I have made up my mind and that is final. Will you say please? Hear me out. Please. I love you. And you know. Hey! Tell that to the birds. You don't love me. You love Jessica. And you know it. All right. I accept that. I'm guilty of that. But will you allow her to ruin our marriage? Is that what you want? You started it. Oh. That is what you want. But since it is what you want, I cannot keep dying in silence. Because of that girl? No way. But you know what? I'm going to help you ruin this marriage. Just watch and see. No, Lucy, please. Please. Let's give God a chance to restore back our peace and love. Please, Lucy. Baby. You want peace? Yes. Back into this family? Oh, yes. I need it. Please. On one condition. Just name it. Any price. I will do it. With all pleasure. Please. It's not about money. It's all about trust. You're going to call her up in my presence first thing tomorrow morning and you tell her that it is over between the both of you. What? Yes. To that extent? Yes. And that is final. How to express my excitement. I'm so happy. So happy. Ah, uh, that's you. Talk. Please uh, talk. Well, this is your husband. And this is the man who knocked him down with his car. Yes, madam. ran into my car. I'm sure it was not uh, it was uh, unintentional. It was probably because of what happened inside. Um, we thank God. And no fractures, just minor bruises. Yes. Yes. And I can assure you, madam, that what happened last night will never happen again. Because your husband is a changed man. <laughs> this one a changed man. What makes him different? Oh, oh, is it because he had an accident? No. We all had a holy encounter here in this hospital last night. Oh yes, he repented. Sophia, what you said is true. I, I am no more the person you used to know before. I'm a changed person. Look at this. This is a holy Bible. Eva is holding a Bible. I wonder where you got the Bible from. Oh, you were so scared that you were going to die. Hmm? Anyway, me, I came to check oh, whether you are alive. Now that I have seen that you are still alive, glory be to God. Yes, when you're done with your friends and your sick bed, come back and meet me at home. Oh, so, 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 if I have died, you would have just go and bury me just like that? Very simple. Before I come. No, 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 madam. Don't talk to him like that. 
He's your husband. So no matter what has happened, please don't talk to him like that. You see, we all have sinned and come short of God's glory. But when by God's mercy, infinite mercy, we are saved through Jesus Christ. Doctor, please don't preach to me. You should preach to him. You don't know what I went through through the hands of this man. Come, have you told him what you did last night? Yes, he did. He told us everything. He told us about uh, Gloria. Everything about Gloria. About the job he lost. About the wonderful, lovable uh, Sophia. Oh, he told us everything. And your husband is now a changed man. And he will be a good husband. Sophia, it's true. I am now a changed person. I am very, very sorry for all that I have done to you. I will not. I promise you, I will never. I will never allow such a thing again to happen. Please, forgive me. Please, forgive him. To err is human. And to, to, to forgive, divine. Madam, God wants to heal your marriage. So why don't you open your heart and accept him? Please. On one condition. And what is that? That's where you okay. Because I cannot bear to live in that compound any longer. I, I, he has disgraced me so much. So, you look for another place for us. Or else, I'm done for. I, I'm done with you. But, but Sophia, that condition is too high. It's too hard. It's too difficult for me to carry out. So it's gotten to this point? All because I mentioned that girl's name yesterday, you left and didn't come back home? Chief, what exactly is happening to you? What is happening to you? Uh, please sit down.
She bought a Bible? Please, let's sit down and talk. Right. Thank you. things that I have done to you. See, when a man realizes that his mistakes are incurable, he seeks the eye of God to cure it. I have found peace in the sanctuary of God. I want you to join me to embrace his grace and shame the devil. Chief. Chief, are you serious? The old has gone and the new has come. My dear, I stand before God and I give you my word that if you ever see or hear that I am having an affair, do whatever you please with me, even as far as Killing me. My God. Chief. Chief, do you mean what you just said? If you want me to take an oath, it will give me great pleasure. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, madam. Where are you now? I hope you're not inside the house. Talk to me, where are you now? I'm about to kill your husband. No! No, I didn't say you should kill my husband. I said, would you? Would you? But uh, stop, stop. Don't get high anymore, please. Just... Hello? Hello? Oh my God. Can you hear me? Hello? Oh my god! He can't hear me! He can't hear me!
You are not dead? No, no, no. I'm very much alive. I am not dead. <laughs> Only one person was injured, and that was the person who ran into my car. I rushed into the hospital, no bones broken, and he's all right now. You had an accident? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, please, sit down. My dear, I had a holy encounter at the hospital where I took that man. such irresponsible husband but I want to let you know that old things have passed away and new things have come oh yes oh yes you don't have to talk much I understand It's okay. Why did you choose this place? Somebody might be watching, you know. That's the reason I chose this place. I want to make it confidential. Confidential? In this open place? What if someone sees us and tells your wife? That is the point. You see, Jessica, I don't want to do anything secret again. I'm tired of living such kind of life. I want to be free. Free like the best in the air. I don't want to have any skeleton in my cupboard anymore. Okay, so what is your plan now? Are you planning to marry me? Jessica, I'm a changed person now. I want to go back to my family and my wife. They need me. And I pray to that one day you will find a nice man who will take good care of you. George. Yes. Are you... What, what are you trying to say? Are you, are you leaving me? Try to understand me. It's for good. George. Someday you understand that I meant well for you. Look at your back. What is it? You see what I mean? 